So today I am going to draw up a um, birdhouse. So I always start by switching to the front view. That way um, I can always have the front. Uh, I have a bunch of old projects that I didn't know to do that. So now when I click front, it uh, it's not the front. So we're going to start by making this 5 inches wide by 9 inches tall. There we go. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel, zoom in a little bit here. And then we're going to make this top pointed, but I want it to be a 45 degree. So uh, halfway is 2.5 inches. So we're going to drag this line, move over 2.5. Drag this line, make it 2.5, spacebar, and then grab the uh, line tool, I guess. Go to intersection to intersection, intersection to intersection, highlight, delete, highlight, delete, delete those lines, delete those lines, and those. Now I'm going to switch around to the back, spacebar, for the, is this a pointer tool? Select tool. Select it, P for push pull, and 5 eighths of an inch. Spacebar, triple click, G for component. Okay, now we're going to go to the side, well, actually, the side right here. And starting up in this corner, come down to here. Six and a half inches tall. And then we want it to be 5 eighths inch thick because that's the uh, stock we're using. So I'm going to do comma, 5 eighths inch. There we go. Spacebar. And then select P for push pull. We want this one to be 4 inches. Triple click. G for component. Now I'm going to rotate this to the bottom. Spacebar. Select. M for move. And control to make a copy, see the little plus, and then I want this outside corner to match with that outside corner. I'm going to hold the shift bar down so it shifts along the red axis. Shift and auto, so it auto, uh, auto, I don't know, matches to that corner. And then we're going to copy this one, so M, and I want this corner to go here, so control for copy shift and there we go space now we have oops the outside carcass okay let's go back to the front now going to grab this corner to this corner so we got five and a quarter and we want it to be Let's call it one inch. Space P push pull five eighths inch thick. Now overall, this piece is going to be four and five eighths inch. I'm going to highlight this P. It's already an inch, so we're going to take it three and five eighths inch, so that from here to here is four and five eighths. Space, one, two, three, triple click, G for component. And then we're going to make a rectangle. Oh, uh, see, that corner comes up. Never likes to do that, so it does the halfway, no problem. That's five sixteenths. So let's call it ten sixteenths. So this does this whole thing right here. Now we're going to make this 5 eighths inch tall. So right now basically we have a 5 eighths inch cube. So this one was 4 and 5 eighths. Um, select P 4 and 5 eighths. So if you notice this one is longer than that one. Triple click G because we go from here to here is five and a quarter inches and then we go from here to here five and a quarter inches so that way they both end up looking the same 
let's go back well actually let's go to the bottom here and then I'm gonna just follow this five and a quarter by five space bar select P push pull five eighths inch thick triple click G for component let's go back to the front view uh, so one thing's gonna bug me if I don't get this whole thing and move it up to this corner here shift there we go space and there's the house now I'm gonna get once again this is 5 inches wide so 2.5 is the halfway and then from the bottom I'm gonna come up what's this let's call it 4 inches there we go now double click so now we can edit this piece and I want a two inch hole so I did one inch total there select it uh, I always do better if I can kind of angle it a little bit push pull we're gonna go in five eighths of an inch so now we have a hole oh you know what now we probably got a hole in both of them yep so let's undo that uh, let's get out of this there we go right click make unique there we go now when we make a hole in that it won't come in the back uh, let's go back to the circle tool one inch space select push pull push it out in okay we did something wrong let's go from a front view let's try to double click uh, I think I didn't double click last time one inch push pull P five eighths inch. There we go. Go back to the front view and tape measure tool. From here to here was four inches, so this time we'll go up three inches. Um, let's make that two inches. And double click. And we're going to make a little hole here with the circle tool. Make a half inch hole. P. And we're actually, it's going to be a hole there. But it's going to have a perch on it. So let's make that a two inch perch. And we made it part of that. Uh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay. Oh, we get oh, that line made it permanent with that. Okay, let's undo. Let's get rid of this line. Click, cut circle tool, it remembers the quarter. P, push pull. Select P, push pull, 5 eighths inch. Okay. Uh, what did I just do? Five eighths inch. There we go. Now let's hide that. Hide that. Hide that. Let's go to the back here. Oh, we're going to have to make another crosshair in the back here. So I want this whole thing to go all the way through. Midpoint. Midpoint. Okay, let's go back up to the front. Okay, this stupid blue line doesn't go away. want to go away. So let's explode this one. Get rid of that line. Get rid of that line. There we go. We're going to make a circle here.
Oh, it's kind of interesting. I made it at an angle. Control Z, undo. Okay, so I just made a circle to fill that in. But, I'm going to come from this other side here. Actually, we want this to be a separate component. So let's undo. Make this a component. Get a circle here. Uh, there's a back. Okay, I'll go back to the front. A little bit of an angle. Select P, push, pull. Let's come out two inches. Let's make it 2.5 inches. Uh, I like the look of that. Triple click component. And then let's do an edit. Unhide all. And then if any of you have ever seen any of my videos, or at least my sketchups, I like to make everything two tone. So let's make the top and the bottom and a little perch in the cherry. And then we'll do the rest in that. And there we go.